happy happy February this is going to be my second unboxing video I did one last month it got great reviews lots of comments everyone was excited wanted me to continue to do them so this is going to be the second one and I will continue to do them every month that me and my husband decide to order them blue apron is a subscription box that sends you recipes for three different meals and for two people so basically you get six meals in the box it's sending you all the ingredients it's sending you the recipe cards they tell you exactly how to do it and if you go on your website they have a video on how to um do stuff if you're a little bit confused the back the box price is 59.94 or 59.95 give or take a penny or so uh, that's the price and this isn't a sponsored video we purchased it with our own coins it's just something that i want to share with you and also in this video i will do just like i did in the last video and at some point this week when i make one of the meals i'll be sure to share with you the whole cooking process how much came out of it and things of that nature now, don't mind that I'm in my kind of max and relax kind of clothes. So, um, just in case you're wondering if it looks a little oversized. These are my husband's. The shirt and the little shirt on the inside. So, just in case you think I look less. Glamorous. So, when you first open the box, you can see it here. They have a letter. They always come with letters and they kind of just explain the recipe that's in the box and what's the heritage or thing behind it. And so you get a little letter, which you can read. And then under there are the recipes. So for this one, we have crispy chicken thighs, with braised lettuce, kimichi, and mataki mushrooms. And you can see there that this is from one of the top chefs, the winner, I think they said, of the 12th season. And so that's kind of interesting. They had her put together a recipe for Blue Apron. And I believe this is the second time that they've actually done this. This looks very good. Uh, and the thing that I am most interested in with this recipe is trying the mushrooms. I am a very big fan of mushrooms, and I do not believe I had these two types of mushrooms. So I'm interested in that. And on the back, of course, they always show how it is that you make the recipe. They have the different instructions, and that's number one. The second one is lamb and beef shawarma with creamy radish salad. So you can see the picture and the radish salad, and then all of the ingredients that it has listed there. And then, of course, on the back, all the pictures on how to make the recipe. I absolutely love these cards. I save them for when I want to use them in the future. The good thing about the chicken thighs recipe is that I have chicken thighs, so I can make like a bigger amount than what they have on the paper. And the same thing with this tilapia. So this recipe is tilapia menuar, menier, menier, I don't know, with Moroccan spice lentils and rainbow chard. And I happen to have tilapia in the refrigerator, although it comes with two of them, so I'll probably make a bigger meal of it, maybe like four or something like that. Uh, and the thing that interests me in this is the lentils. Very interested in the lentils. Then on the back, you can see I am going to how to make it. And we are going to take a look at everything that's in here. On the recipe cards, it tells you exactly which stuff is for what meal. So when you're doing this, uh, you may want to separate it in your refrigerator or put the box back in there. I'm not sure how you're doing that. I'm going to be sure to get the little card so that just in case I don't know what something is, I'll just read it over here. We have some mint, which looks very good. I don't usually do too much with mint, but this should be interesting. And then we have some parsley, and it usually has the stickers on here anyway. Scallions. I'll turn it on the back so you can see the quality of it. Usually very good, nice and fresh, no complaints. Then we have a bag of radishes. I do not eat radishes very much, so this should be a very interesting experience. Wow. Okay, and so these are the Mataki mushrooms. 100% organic and they look good. I told you this is what I was interested in. And I'm surprised it's actually not in the Blue Apron packaging. So, hmm, interesting. Oh, I know this. This is rainbow chard and this bag is huge. Definitely bigger than an eight by 11 piece of paper. 
looks like a whole heck of a lot. A little gem lettuce, and it is quite little. Napa cabbage, Persian cucumber. Ooh, Chobani Greek yogurt. I happen to like Chobani, so that's cool. Shiitake mushrooms. Let's open it up and see what's in here. Interesting. Keep refrigerated. <laughs> That's Keep all that refrigerated, it says. and they're supposed to be two pocketless pitas. Clove of garlic. Two lemons. You can see the other lemon down here. Red onion. Another red onion. Black beluga lentils. And then we have knickknacks, and I'll share them at the end. Under here is always a big old black ice and the meat products. So we have premium cut chicken thighs. We have a package of ground beef and lamb mix. And a package of All right, so each box comes with something called knickknacks. And each recipe has their own little thing of knickknacks, which usually is like a seasoning or a condiment to go alongside the recipe. And the babe usually shares those things, so. So here we have here the tilapia knickknacks. And in here we'll find ras al hanout. What's a seasoning? Seasoning. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> we have capers. Let's see. If you guys like capers. Mm -hmm. We have panko breadcrumbs. We can't push it so far if we can push it. Maybe we've seen close. And we have a little stick of butter. That's cute, here. like a quarter piece. Yeah. Okay. And that's all of the tilapia knickknacks? Yeah, the, uh, the, the chicken knickknacks. Let's see what we got in here. We have sugar. And we have gashuga. How do you spell that? Gashu garo. Gashu garo. Gashu garo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells quite interesting. It smells rather spicy, too. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Then we have chicken demi glaze. Mmm, that's glazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a little piece of ginger. Mmm, oops. I usually have ginger here, too. That's really fresh, though. Right. We have some more butter popping out. <laughs> some butter. Lots of butter. Really fat and fat. Yeah, and we have rice wine vinegar. A very little bottle. That's so cute. Nice we and have the yeah. shawarma knickknacks. Let's see what we have in here. We have roasted sunflower seeds. Looks like sunflower seeds. Yeah. <laughs> And we have shawarma spli spice blend. And let me see what's in the shawarma spice blend. <laughs> I said it wrong, you mean? Zatar? It said that there oh, no. is Zatar, ground cumin, ground sweet paprika, ground coriander, and white sesame seeds. I guess we have to put that in our own little bag. Yeah. It looks like Is it broken on the bottom? It oh, seems it is. Like it. On the bottom a little bit. All right, so we'll have to. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to our Blue Apron unboxing, first impression or second impression, plus our meal prep and doing and all sorts of bits and bobs. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you can hit the subscribe button. It is 100 and totally free. All right. Like, see you later. Subscribe. Bye. Later. So I am back to do another impression on one of the meals. So tonight me and my husband are working together and we are making the crispy chicken. What does that paper say? Crispy chicken. With I think it's like crispy 
chicken with kimichi salad and mataki mushrooms or something crispy close to that. Thighs. Crispy chicken thighs? With grapes, with lettuce, kimchi, and mataki mushrooms. All that good stuff. It's the one that's by the uh, person that won the last Top Chef. So we're going to be working on that tonight. Um, hopefully you don't really see too much of my little goods because it's hot. Let me tell y'all. It's hot in here. Very, very hot. But come on. And so stuff. this is it. The crispy chicken thighs, braised lettuce, kimichi, and mataki mushrooms by the winner of Top Chef Season 12. And so he's going to be working on the chicken portion. I chopped up all the vegetables and so, things. I chopped up all the different vegetables that had to go on the thing. So these are mataki mushrooms. This is the cabbage that's scallions and garlic. And then this is the other mushrooms and that's the little gem lettuce. And let me see, the other mushrooms are the shiitake. So shiitake and mataki mushrooms. And everything's all nice What's up, and everybody? chopped up. Let's get my cook on. <laughs> right. He's working on the chicken. You're the crispy chicken guy today. I'm the crispy chicken guy? Yeah. With, with that with lettuce, tomatoes, and a bun? Like, no, I want it with mushrooms, stuff. lettuce, onions, cabbage, and everything else in this paper. <laughs> and a bun. Not a bun. You don't want a bun? No mm. set of bun? No. Oh, okay. Well, I want a bun, but I don't want that kind of bun. You always think it's something ratchet. I tried. To, <laughs> I was like, I'm talking about a bun in the oven. I don't know what kind of buns are you thinking. That's what I was thinking. Of. Oh, well, okay. I first I thought buns, and then I thought buns in the oven. Oh, like, oh, oh okay. Just finished okay. mixing together the kimchi. So what I did was I used all the cabbage that was chopped up. I mixed some sugar that they provided. Some I don't know what this is. Gochugaru seasoning, which is supposed to be really spicy. So they said add as much as you want depending on how spicy so I added just about half of it then I put all the little rice rind vinegar that they had in here and the only thing I did not put in here was the ginger so they had ginger that they wanted us to put in but I don't like ginger too much and it also has the half of the garlic that I had put in there and half of the scallions all mixed together and apparently I'm just supposed to put it in the refrigerator and let it set for 25 minutes. All right, so they said to put a little oil in the pan, skim down chicken. Well, let's let us see the skin a little bit. Let's see. It's looking pretty good. Almost there. What they said to put uh, salt and pepper. I added a little bit more. Uh, I got some. Uh, <laughs> Getting yeah, I'm getting popped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's a good pan and that oil is uh, ready. Alright. And I got um I got some chopped onions on here. I got some uh, garlic powder. Uh, wow, that was that's You're gonna have to go fast yeah, before you pop on my eye. Yeah, um, and all that good stuff, just all the extra stuff. Yeah. Just season it the way you like it. Yeah. I I don't really do my chicken with just salt and pepper, so we add a little bit more. And we got the crisp going on. We got the fish going on, it's a nice texture, a good color. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're going to let it a little more. That's good. You're great at following instructions. Um, <laughs> the chicken is out of the fryer. It's fried on both sides really good. We decided to put it in the oven just to make sure it's going to be cooked all nice and through. So I have the shiitake and the mataki mushrooms in here. I'm going to cook them for three to five minutes for them to be browned and then I'm going to add a bunch of other So stuff. I just added the scallions, the garlic, and I did add some ginger. I kind of put it on my little grater and put it in there because they did want it in there. So I said okay. I can add the ginger to give it a good flavor, maybe. So I just Let's added see. the butter and the chicken demi glaze, and I put those little lettuce heads in there a couple minutes ago that were flipped on the other side, and they said before putting in the butter and the demi glaze to flip the letters back over. So the lettuce is flipped back over, and then I'm going to be Everything's ready like to be plated. That's mushrooms with the sauce, and I've already tasted the mushrooms in the sauce, and they taste absolutely wonderful. And I have this bowl I'm going to put everything in, and I had to move the kimchi to that, so that's why they had it in the bowl. And then so here's, here's the, the final product, the kimchi, the mushrooms, the chicken, and the lettuce, and ugh, so far, so good. It tastes yummy, the little that I've tasted. 
And this is their picture. And that's mine. I think we did. I think the two of us together with our powers combined. I think you came out. All right, so we good. are on to the next day. After we ate food yesterday, it was absolutely wonderful. We started watching TV shows on all sorts of things. I completely forgot to come back to you and let you know how it was, what it tasted like, if it was good and or bad. First, let me say that I was worried about the kimchi salad that was there. My husband corrected me and told me that I was saying kimchi or kimachi salad or... I don't know, but whatever it was I was saying prior, the name of the salad is actually kimchi salad. And so I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it literally was cabbage, sugar, um, white vinegar, and some spicy kind of flavoring to it. But it was so good. Let me tell you, that, what was it, Top Chef, Top Chef winner, put her foot into that recipe. It was absolutely wonderful and you know I happen to have a love for mushrooms and they were divine the mushrooms with the chicken glaze and everything to get and then the crust on the the I, and I have a thing for textures when it comes to eating too so the way it just came together was good we had the fried of the chicken so it had like a crisp to it and then we had the soft with the mushrooms and then we had the perfect combination with the kimchi salad the only thing that I think that they could have really just left out and I'm quite sure it was just in the recipe just for a show type of thing to make the presentation look very pretty was the lettuce. That little half a lettuce that I had to kind of sear. It didn't do much. I could have took it and left it. It wasn't much. But overall, that recipe definitely gets an A. I most certainly will keep it. Especially the recipe that they had for making those mushrooms. And next time I go to the store, I'll be looking for the shiitake and mataki mushrooms. Because I usually order portabellas. And my portabellas are very good. But those were wonderful. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed our Blue Apron video. And I will see you in the next one.